Around last year, the TikToker Danielle Cohn decided to launch a feminine care line called Feel Divine Co. Now, if you've heard of the name Danielle Cohn before, you'll know she's had a very controversial time here on social media. Danielle's been called out in the past for not being a good influence to kids on social media, being racist, and getting with many guys older than her since being on the social media limelight, which was at a very young age. But over the last few years, there has been damning evidence that has come to light showing how Danielle is being pushed to do all of this against her will by the help of her mom to earn money for her family. Jen has been seen on the Maury show bragging about her daughter making $10,000 per bikini picture back when she was more popular on social, and there's been videos showing Jen being emotionally towards her daughter, often for what many think is to have her daughter make content, many being provocative photos and videos. Messages have been leaked and videos showing Danielle not wanting this life but seems to be under pressure to perform, and her pictures have also been shown to appear on inappropriate websites that people have even found out one account was registered to her mother's email account. People just think her childhood has been ripped away from her all for the sake of money, and it hasn't gotten better for Danielle since. Now, things have come crumbling down for Danielle as her feminine beauty brand that she had launched around a year ago is no longer under her name. Now, Danielle's feminine care brand was founded with the primary goal of helping tweens and teenagers with their feminine hygiene care, and the company seemed to be doing pretty well at the start. Her posts all over her TikTok seemed to be doing really well, and she just seemed super happy and passionate about this new endeavor until around a year later, where the manufacturing company made a jaw-dropping statement. So for context, Fuel Divine Co. was a partner with this company who manufactured her products called So Refreshed. So Refreshed is claiming they had a contract throughout all this time to handle manufacturing and distribution for Danielle's products that she was promoting all over her YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. But it seems like behind the scenes, things were just collapsing between Danielle and the team at So Refreshed. Not only did they announce just a couple of days ago that Danielle was no longer affiliated with the company and that they had to pretty much let her go after they were able to acquire the company, but they also went on a tangent about Danielle and her mom, which are we really surprised about? It seems like anyone who works with Danielle Cohn's mom always ends up in a disastrous situation. And the people behind So Refreshed also talked about the dark side of working with both Danielle and her mom. It it all started when they made this post on the Field Divine Co. Instagram page announcing that they were closing, which people were just shocked about, asking why, what the reason was. Their post read, sorry, we will close soon. Tomorrow is our last day. And their caption goes, tomorrow is our official last day. All orders are still being sent out. With the limited amount of staff, there is a delay and we do apologize. If you have questions about your order after tomorrow, you can always DM us or email us. We will still be working until everyone has their orders. So much work went into this brand behind the scenes. We appreciate all the love and support we received. But it wasn't until they really exposed everything over on their next Instagram post. They posted this photo with a quote that said, do things at your own pace. Life is not a race. They said, Field Divine has been officially acquired by So Refreshed and we currently run this page. On October 16th, we decided to part ways with Danielle and her mother. Here are some facts that we feel are important for you to know with so many speculations going around. Number one, no money was put up to start this brand by Danielle or her mother. Then they went on with a list of reasons that really exposed on their end how it was working with Danielle and her mom. They said, number one, no money was put up to start this brand by Danielle or her mother. We were told they didn't have any funds at the time and we started this brand from scratch and would need to wait and collect money from sales. The startup included building the website, buying inventory, creating the name and logo, obtaining insurance, creating a social media presence, and so much more. Adding, also, no money was ever given to us to help with building the brand or operating expenses from them after the brand was formed. They only paid for photo shoots for the brand. Number two, we strictly had a contract in place to handle manufacturing and distribution. Later, Jen started demanding that social media management be handled by us 
which was outside of the contract. PR, damage control, cease and desist letters being sent, and accounting services were also provided outside of the contract, which they're claiming wasn't something they even had to go out of their way to do. Number three, we became burnt out from handling all these things and orders became backed up. Our team was very small and could not handle such a daunting task as well as run our business, alongside the fact that they only wanted certain people to work with us. We expressed this several times and they didn't care enough to change the structure of the business. One person should not be held responsible for all these duties. We truly don't think they understand what a burnout is. They would say they would come to help, but they do not have the knowledge on how to create feminine care and skincare. It's not something that you wake up and decide to do. It involves a lot of processes that you would need to understand beforehand. Number four explains how they were actually really low on sales, which was another reason why they decided to pretty much just close this brand with Danielle. The sales were extremely low, which is normal for a new brand, so it was truly hard for us to keep investing into this company without a return. They continued over in the comment section talking about what seems to be another brand that Danielle was promoting on her Instagram, but it seems like this company was also working as a partner with her on that as well. They said, number five, we also started the healing page, created the logos, and built the website for it as well. The stupid love website was created by us also. None of these services had to do with manufacturing and distribution of Feel Divine. However, we were asked to do them and we wanted Danielle to win in every possible scenario. Number six, they talked about the hate they received. We received so much hate from so many people in regards to Danielle being allegedly exploited. This was another stressful factor that weighed heavily on our decision. Number seven, we gave them an option to buy wholesale on many occasions and they always declined. We tried to make this work but things got complicated because of Jen and we mutually called it quits altogether. They said, lastly, Jen was the key factor in this relationship ending. The manipulation, entitlement, and cockiness along with demanding us to do things each and every day outside of the contract and without a profit was extremely extremely stressful. We did so many things out of the kindness of our heart that was abused and not appreciated by them. In their eyes, we were supposed to do all those things. Number nine, we have closed this chapter and moved on. However, we continue to see lies being spread and it's just wrong. We want to apologize in advance if this offends any of you. We have remained professional and poised while videos and comments continuously are being made all because we couldn't handle these issues and decided to part ways. We are not robots. We are humans that cared a little too much. Lesson learned. TikTok room posted about this situation and people in the comments were saying things like, Jen gives off Karen energy, so none of the statement is surprising. Are we really surprised? They have a history of doing these things, so I better not see no one hating on at so refreshed. This is the same parent that's been selling CP of her child since the age of 15 to grown men. So refreshed responded to a comment about them speaking out and how some people thought that it was unprofessional, but I honestly could see where the company So Refresh is coming from in this situation since they have been getting a lot of comments asking about why they decided to work with Danielle from the start and also feel like their name is being painted in a bad image. Someone said, so unprofessional. Doesn't matter how badly something went, if you have to go online to speak about it, you're craving attention. And So Refresh responded, sorry you feel that way. We've been lied about and remained silent long enough. The truth needed to be told. Wait, I'm confused. So this whole time she was flexing that she's a businesswoman and an entrepreneur when she was just the face of the business, she wasn't actually running anything? No offense, but why would they start a business with an influencer who hasn't been famous since Musical.ly and expected it to prosper? The whole point of being an influencer is that you have an audience to influence and sell to, so they should have chosen a recent influencer, not one that has lost the influence they used to have. Now, Danielle has spoken on this situation as well. As a matter of fact, she actually went on Instagram Live and she was actually emotional that she cut ties with So Refresh. She was talking about how she has worked on this brand for a really long time and it's just super emotional for her, but she did talk about how they did have conflicting arguments with how to run the business and that they weren't agreeing with how she wanted it to be run or her mom. It was just really sad to hear that I couldn't get it to myself. Um... So, I'm gonna try my best 
to start another company and make it just as good as it was. Um, it's just gonna take some time. Um, to make it clear, I didn't lose my company because of karma. Um, I lost the company because I didn't like the way it was going. Um, and I just didn't like some of the things. I, I wanted it to be faster. I wanted the shipping to be faster. Um, I wanted the products to get out faster and it wasn't possible with everything. They just decided to, um, we just decided to end it because we were arguing too much about what we wanted and that's why you just don't have partners. You just do it all yourself. Um, and so I just had to basically say I'm done and I just, I don't want to argue and I don't want to argue about who gets the company. So I just, I just let them have it. It's just hard to sit here and say that I don't have Feel Divine anymore. Cause I put so much work into it and this is so, I just can't. This is just like, I just can't with the crying on live. And I went on Instagram and I had seen that they had posted it saying that it was gone or we were ending. I obviously plan to make a new company and this time I'm gonna do it all myself and I'm not going to have any partners because you just can't trust anyone. It seems like anyone who affiliates themselves with Danielle Cohn and her mom in business always turns out to be a fail. We had Michael Weiss speaking out against these two in the past, and now we have the partner of Feel Divine Co. cutting ties on their business venture with Danielle and speaking out against both her and her mom. Anyways guys, I definitely want to know what you guys think about this situation in the comments down below. Definitely let me know. I love you guys so much. And I'll see y'all in the next video.